Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you how to make this little ribbon that I designed. I painted this design and then I made this lovely pattern. So what you'll need is the pattern, which you can download for free. The link is in the description. A uh, glue stick, glue gun with a little bit of glue, scissors, and any type of pen or marker or anything that you want to decorate the text part. So start out with cutting out the pattern. Okay, now we're done cutting everything out. Let's clean up our workspace a little bit. Done with the scissors. Yay! So these long little sections with the sort of chevrons at the bottom, those are gonna be our ribbon bits that dangle. So we don't need those right now. Here's our section here. So that's gonna be like that. And here, now you're wondering, what are these for? These, I'm gonna show you how to do a really easy way to do these roughly bits. A lot of really uh, cool card crafters. Um, I'm just gonna tidy this up as I talk. A lot of really cool card crafters, they've got these like cardboard uh, like imprint things and they've got these little push sticks and things like that. Uh, well, I don't have any of that. <laughs> so what I do is I just line it up. That's why I kind of have to tidy it up a little bit. It's okay if it's not perfect. This whole entire thing is very forgiving. So you line it up. And then depending on how big you want the uh, sections to be, so this one's quite small and petite, whereas I did another version when I was just testing out the pattern and that one's a little bit larger. So depending on how many times you fold it, you can get larger things or smaller things. So the way you do it is you put them together and then just fold. I'm gonna make them pretty small folds and make sure the first one's pretty even. There we go. And then I'm gonna flip it over and just accordion it back and forth. Let's do it again. And I'm making them quite small and you just go back and forth. So you do that the entire length. I'm sure you get the idea. You see why I'm doing this? Sometimes they kind of come to get, uh, come apart a little bit. So you just push it back together, flip it over, just kind of line it back up again. Don't really stress too much about it. It is what it is. There you go. And then when you flip it back over, it should be much better. I know that they're not perfectly, like they're not all the same size. Let's see. It's still gonna work. I think that's about it. There we go. So we've got our little Re, 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 accordions, right? So, we've got two accordions. And the way that we're gonna bring together ruffles is like so. So these are gonna come round this way. These are gonna come round this way. We're gonna glue them together. Now, I tried to do this section with hot glue. Didn't work. I highly recommend the glue stick. It'd be very generous with the glue stick. So here, we're just gonna glue that section together so that when we put it together, it makes a nice little ruffle. And the good thing about a glue stick is if you mess up, you can just pull it apart and glue it back again. <laughs> I can tell you from experience, I've glued the wrong part to the wrong thing and it's just very forgiving. So that's why I highly recommend glue. So there you put it together, smoosh it together, smoosh, 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 smoosh. So that, that's dried up a little bit. It's quite strong. Gonna do the other side. It shouldn't take very long to dry. Maybe, I don't know, about a minute. Now we're gonna glue this side together. So you see what we're kind of going for. And it's gonna be bouncy. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be hard to handle just a little bit, but that's okay. It's supposed to be like that. So glue your ends, just get stuck in. 
Blue that. Call that good. And then, stick those together too. Stick, stick, stick. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the ruffles, but how do we get them to stick? I uh, used, tried to use some of this at the beginning. Didn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't have enough oomph. So I then used the glue gun and glued in there and I still, it still wasn't working. So what I found out was if I put the glue, if I put the glue in here and then I smack that on top, works fine. It keeps together, everything's great. And then on the other side, I do the same technique when I put the ribbons on. We'll just put this little ruffle aside for now. And let's just focus on this now. So here's where you're gonna write your little ward. You can write on this too, but you won't really see it much. If you like, you can just leave that off and write on that. It's your creation. Do what you want to do. I am going to make this little award for my husband because he's a great guy. So I'm going to say best coffee maker because he makes me a cup of coffee every single day in the morning. And it's really lovely. And it's one of the sweetest things he does every day. Without fail. So there we go. Best coffee maker. So it doesn't even have to be musical theater related. I made these because we've got a lot of musical theater people in our community, but it just is up to you. A lot of things you can do, like the person that pulls the most faces in a serious scene <laughs> to put you off. You know, just, it can be either sweet or comedic or both. You might want to zhuzh it up a little bit, so I'll put a little bit of gold in there. And then I overdo it, <laughs> which is what I do all the time. All right, so you've got this. I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna use my little glue stick again. Just go Oh, don't take that with you if <laughs> you need that and smack it on. There we go. That's as centered as it's gonna be, whatever. So that's gonna be your top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, cause I like to do all the stuff with my glue stick first and then use the last step as the hot glue gun because hot glue gun is messy. It just starts and it's just, <laughs> I, I get really uh, frazzled when I do it. So we've got this section, this section done. We've got this section pretty much done. So now we're gonna move on to our ribbons. So we've got two ribbons here. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it lengthways because I've got a really janky tripod, which is a stack of books that my phone is taped to. <laughs> um, so there are the ribbons. And then what I like to do is just glue the top up here, but you could have it like that. You could put it like that. You could glue up the whole thing down so it doesn't flap around. I quite like a little bit of flappy and get creative with it. Like you might wanna, you may wanna accordion it up and then put it on, just have fun with it. The whole point of this is just to have fun and relax and it's not supposed to be a stressful experience. So I'm just gonna go like that, boom. Hit it for good measure. I like that effect actually. I'm gonna woogity it a little bit. So I got that one done, and then I'm gonna do this one. And this is just normal printer paper, and you can use card paper, but I just printed it off with printer paper because ain't nobody got time for that. So now we've got all of our components together. Now I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you go ahead and glue these together now. Uh, so maybe look at this and see how far you want it to be. I quite like this sort of angle, like a wide angle, whereas you might prefer something that's much more narrow. So I'm gonna use my glue stick one more time, and I'm gonna glue these together. And that's just gonna make it a lot easier when it comes to the uh, glue gun process. So there we go, so now it's all glued together. Kinda press it down just to make sure. And then that's how it's going to look. We can retire this glue stick. And now it's time 
from Mr. Glue Gun. <laughs> so my glue gun is really cheap. <laughs> it doesn't have an on off switch. It just plug in, it heats up, we go. 2,000 years later. It's finally warmed up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my little ruffle thing. See how it just kind of all comes together a bit. And be very careful because you know, glue, hot glue, it's in, glue's in the name, it's hot. And just put a big old dollop in the center. Be generous. Hiya! And pull it away. Push it together, it takes a little bit of dexterity. Now grab your best coffee thing and push it on top. There we go. Pressing it all together. It's making a nice little seal. When you flip, before you put the ribbons on, make sure when you flip it over, this is facing the right direction. So when you flip it and you put your ribbons on, it comes out underneath. Now we're gonna do the same thing over on this side. So grab your little thingamabobs, and then you're gonna grab your <laughs> hot glue, get rid of the excess glue, and I'll pump out some more. Go. I saw this once where you just kind of rotate it and then pull up, it seems to work. And take your thing, your little ribbons, and push. Get it right in that hole still, those little cracks. Just make sure it's just all together. Make sure you unplug this now. That's the next step. Unplug your glue gun. <sighs> Let this mess cool down as well. And there we go. We've got your little ribbon. Now what you can do is if you feel so inclined is you can get a little pin and you can hot glue it to the back of this and then you can pin it onto whatever you want. You can pin it onto your clothes, you can pin it onto a bag. So here we are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, leave a like and uh, if you'd like to see more, comment below. Feel free to subscribe for more. I've got a lot of time lapses and check out our Instagram and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. As you burn your finger, that's cool. Thank you, finger, for reminding me why you need to be careful with the glue gun. There you go. Oh, I got glue on me. And then, you go check on the chicken. How's the chicken's right in the carrot? Oh, I need pauses. <laughs>